I've always been fascinated by how things work, how things are made. How does that work? How do you make that go? And I asked him, you know, how do you make these photos? I expressed an interest in it and immediately, next thing I know, I'm in the dark room with him, helping him to develop photographs and develop films. I mean, I developed, I took my first film and developed it and did the prints myself when I was seven years old. But of course, um, alone in a dark room with my father for hours on end, evenings and weekends. Uh, we didn't, you know, we didn't do a lot of photos while we were in there, that's to be sure. By the time I was seven years old, I actually enjoyed what my father was doing to me. And by the time I was about nine or ten years old, I used to actively instigate I would make a pass at him. 17 years old, I told my mum what he'd been doing for the last 13 years. She called the police. Uh, my father was convicted and he got a 12-month conditional discharge. As time goes by and I'm healing myself, I'm beginning to remember, you know, more and more and more. Because, you know, when your subconscious decides to blot out bad memories, well, it, it, it doesn't filter them, it's just all of them. Um, so a lot of my childhood is just, uh, uh, you know, ma massive areas of blank. Walking in the country, out on my own, I needed some time. I've had suicide attempts, I've been a heroin addict, I've been an alcoholic. I've seen a child psychologist, child psychiatrist, behavioural psychiatrists or whatever, behavioural psychologists, social workers, doctors, shrinks. None of them worked. It is possible to make serious psychological and emotional and spiritual progress by letting them surface in your dreams, analysing them, and the paedophile victims, they do have trouble, we have trouble opening up to therapists, to psychiatrists and things, because you're supposed to trust them. But the thing is, is you grew up in an environment where you're supposed to trust your parents, but you were abused. So how the hell are you going to trust a therapist or a shrink or whatever? And for people that are in that position, you have the means to understand and cope and come to terms with all this that comes to you every night. All the songs that I've written up until now have been really either angry, sarcastic or depressing. And all the songs that I'm writing now are just more positive ever since I started my dream diary. I mean, if I manage to heal myself, to the extent where I think I can play live, tell you what I'd like. I'd like a decent backing band. I'd like um, Elton John on piano, Eric Clapton on guitar, and do some of my songs. Maybe do a big benefit gig or whatever, doing all my songs in, in, in aid of the NSPCC or Childline or whatever. That'd be cool. You know, I'd die a happy man there.